to the right, as the creaking ship's walls seem to creep closer, a rust-encrusted boiler spews a final blast of air, and then sits, dormant, perhaps now forevermore. Above it, the round dials and gauges just rest, frozen in time. Rearing out from the left are two of the most recognisable and most fearsome looking creatures in the Scary Monsters area, our Dragon Mora Eels. Named after another pair of creatures of the night, Lestat and Vlad sit, tucked in sight from the below the grey rocks they live amongst and stare hypnotically out at passers-by. Mouths agape, gulping and swaying gently. Immediately your eyes are drawn to the almost vampiric dentition lining the mouth, and you'll realize this is not a creature willing to ask questions first. These teeth are designed to pierce the bodies of their elected victims and hold them firmly while the eel maneuvers itself into a swallowing position. Each time it moves, the jaws are released briefly before snapping back down to pin their prey back into place. Adorned in hoops, stripes and speckles of dark orange, burgundy red, shades of cream and tan, along a body capable of reaching lengths of 90 centimeters, the eel appears as well dressed as an aristocratic vampire of years gone by. With its almost rakish slender form and fine dress, it would seem that not only are they some of the scariest inhabitants here at Blackpool Sea Life Centre, the Dragon Mores are easily some of the prettiest too. They are often found in shallow water around rocky and coral covered reefs throughout the Indo Pacific, from southern Japan and Korea down to New Caledonia, which is just east of Australia. Like most species of moray eel, their flesh is ciguatoxic or poisonous to humans, and a bite from those wicked looking teeth would not only hurt, but also, due to a bacteria found in their saliva, prevent blood from clotting, causing serious bleeding. Their jaws are curved to such an extent that they cannot close their mouths fully, and their constant panting, for want of a better word, is simply them breathing. The common name Dragon Moray Eel comes from the horns which are on the top of the long head, flared looking nostrils and the aggressive nature of the eel give them the lack of a small snake like fire breather. Behind you in our final display of the scary monsters area lives Blackpool Sea Life Center's most bug eyed beastie ever. Truly a creature from nightmares, possibly the inspiration for many a B-movie horror film, and easily one of the ugliest critters you will ever come across. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, I proudly present to you the star of our feature, the giant deep sea isopod. Admittedly not the most attractive of creatures, but there is a very good reason for this. As a deep sea scavenger, the isopod, like the Japanese spider crab, is never certain when or where its next meal is coming from. So, in the meantime, they rest. By not moving at all. It's a great strategy if they do not want to waste energy looking for food that may not be there then they do not need to eat as often to keep their energy levels up. When they find food, small mandibles at the front of their faces crush and chew any flesh they come across. They are essentially macabre waste disposers, crawling in the darkness, awoken by the smell of death, seeking out the dead, the rotten, the decomposing, and feasting until nothing but bone remains. They are found 
all over the world in deep oceans where the temperature is constantly very cold. These isopods are living in water that is around 4 degrees Celsius and pitch black due to the lack of light able to penetrate from the surface. These creatures are so rarely seen that when, or should that be if, you return to the surface from this voyage, then you may never see them again. As you look at them, you may start to almost recognize them as something else. One of their closest relatives are the common wood lice found all over the UK in gardens and indoors. The biggest difference is the size of them. The average British woodlouse is 2 centimeters in length. The average isopod is much larger. However, the giant deep sea isopods on display here can reach over 30 centimeters or 12 inches in length. And with that, your journey from the bizarre and unusual to the creepy and rarely seen has drawn to an end. And as you pass the alcove containing the slender and evil looking viper eel, let me say thank you for listening to this ISO podcast and for visiting the Blackpool Sea Life Center. I hope you have enjoyed our scary monsters area today and that it doesn't make going to sleep too difficult tonight. Sweet dreams.